This review is of A&W Zero Sugar Root Beer. Um, and uh, I don't know what this Let's Play thing is about. No caffeine. Um, let's see. Phenoketonurix contains phenylalanine. So if you have PKU, phenoketonuria, then you should not consume this product. It also has 115 milligrams of sodium per 12 ounces. So be careful if you have trouble with sodium like I do. Uh, 12, uh, 12 ounces also has no fat or cholesterol, no carbs or protein, and these are the ingredients. And that's it. So let's go ahead and give it a t I grew up on A&W Root Beer. It was one of the places we liked to go when we were traveling was an A&W drive-in. A lot of people don't know what a drive-in is anymore. It's where you park outside and you sit in your car and the waitress comes over on roller skates and asks for your order and you give the order and then they come back w later with a tray full of food and they put it uh, on the uh, it rests uh, on the uh, top of the door with your window down and so you can have the food sitting on the tray and then you can take the stuff as you want and at some point in time, and I don't, this was when I was fairly young, I re recognized the fact that it seemed like they had changed the recipe. Everybody denied it, but it seemed like it to me. It's kind of like when Pepsi changed their um, recipe and then they had a very elaborate scheme to pass it off on everyone. So that's nice. I'm going to have some more. Um, NW isn't the best root beer I've ever had, uh, but, but it is pretty good. Even with the change in the recipe. Shh, don't tell anyone. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to give it an eight. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.